while we're out here, chances are we may come under indirect fire. This is a sergeant in Canada's most secretive military command, Special Operations Forces. If we're under effective chemical attack, we're going to push back to the vehicles right off the bat. We can't reveal names, but for the first time, we can show you the faces of the most elite troops on the most dangerous terrain. Territory once claimed by ISIS, whole villages sit eerily empty, except one house on a hill doubling as an observation post, manned by the Peshmerga. When they pushed the enemy back, ISIS, in a last-ditch effort, blew up this bridge, the main highway, into Mosul. On this auspicious day, Kurdish troops patrol the bombed-out bridge and wave to their Canadian military partners, waiting for the top soldier to arrive. We're about a kilometer from the front line, and somehow local media caught wind of the fact that General Vance was going to be here, an attractive high-level target for ISIS. When the convoy comes into view, both forces are all eyes on that line. Yeah, right. So it's, the whole thing. it's the first time General Vance has seen the damage done here. Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a four-lane highway. It, 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 was a, it was a good piece of kit, though. Beyond the bridge lies the question, with the 200 additional special ops already trickling in, when is the mission to reclaim Mosul? I don't have a timeline for its end. I believe it will start uh, this year. Uh, critical uh, to all of us is that the conditions are properly set for a successful operation in Mosul. So you don't want to go too soon. But the Kurdish troops, special ops are training, want to go now. And according to their top commander, Grateful for Canada's help, also want the weapons promised. Nothing here, though, is that simple. First, General Vance is waiting for the formation of an elite Kurdish commando called Zaravani. That would include troops Canada's force has already trained. The Zaravani commando isn't formed yet. So as we form it and train it, they'll have the weapons necessary to do the job they need to do. So when you hear them say that, though, people of your rank saying, we need those weapons now, our guys are walking around in old Soviet-style Kalashnikovs. Uh, we're not uh, re-equipping the entire Peshmerga force. Uh, we are working on um, supporting them with some of the ammunition necessary for the sniper rifles uh, that have been purchased. Uh, but we're not doing a wholesale re-equipping of the Peshmerga. We're going to build a, a commando, a professionalized commando, uh, and a part of Canada's decision was to provide them the equipment to do that. Is that possibly timed or linked in any way to the campaign to reclaim Mosul? Um, well, uh, there are many variables, Lisa, and uh, when the campaign to retake Mosul will, uh, will start and end. Uh, but yes, it would be ideal if we had uh, the Zerbani Commando uh, ready for operations at some key junctures in that. At this key juncture, just holding on to this blown out bridge is building morale. That's it. Okay. You're done. All right. We'll see you <laughs> back home. And seeing the faces of Canada's covert commandos is a sign this mission is different.